During the long nights of the month of Ramadan, Tunisian coffee shops sell the hookah, also known as Arab shisha. It is a water pipe with a smoke chamber, a hose, a pipe and a bowl. A flavored tobacco is heated with burning coal and the smoke passes through water. It is then inhaled through a rubber hose. Finally, the smoke is exhaled through the mouth. I have been smoking hookah since 1975. Now I'm 68 years old. I do not encourage young people to smoke. I'm smoking for fun. I don't think it hurts. Hookah makers are very patient workers who spend hours serving the heated coal to please their highly demanding clientele. We sell popular and clean shisha. Shisha smokers have pleasure, but we are not responsible for people's addiction. In the last 12 years, Brahim has cleaned thousands of shisha bowls. Now he admits that many smokers never think of the consequences of their irresponsible acts. Some clients smoke up to five hookahs in a night. They cannot live without it. I am doing my job, but I believe it's too much for their health and pocket. Doctors are worried about the alarming spread of hookah in Tunisia. A recent study has shown that thousands of young people, women and adults become new smokers every year. Dr. Suisi is a lung and allergy specialist at the regional hospital of Siliana in the northwest of Tunisia. He warns that the shisha remains a threat to health even if it comes in different shapes, colors and tastes. The shisha Smoking one shisha takes 20 to 40 minutes. It's like smoking 20 cigarettes. When one inhales the smoke, 200% more of the dangerous fumes enter the lungs. It might be attractive, but the hookah is worse than cigarettes. Both cause cancer and can kill. The shisha business in Tunisia represents several millions of dinars. Health activists urge the authorities to invest in media campaigns and to sensitize consumers about the dangers of hookah smoking in the North African state. Adnan Chawishi, CGTN, Tunis.